welcome to another episode of JW's Liquor and today we're going to be reviewing the Blue Moon Belgian Ale. This is something we sell at our restaurant location but of course I'm not going to feel like paying $8 a bottle for it and it's not even as big as this bottle. This bottle only cost me three bucks. So without further ado, let's get into the tasting and here we go. Wow. Okay, first off, it's very in the middle. It's not too strong. It's not too weak. It's just right. I like that. I appreciate that a little bit more. Usually you have one that's too strong, but then you have other ones that are too thin. This one is not the case. Mm. Mm. This is going to be one I can actually tell I'm going to finish the entire bottle ahead of time. So that's a good thing. Because a lot of beers nowadays are kind of nasty-like that you don't want to finish the entire bottle. So I made sure in my year and a half, two-year hiatus, I found a beer that was worth doing a video on. And I work at a restaurant that sells liquor. So I decided to do what I should have done a long time ago and do a video review on each one of the liquors that we sell at our job. But find them at other locations around my area so that way I can do the video for you guys. And what better way of doing the video is out here in the middle of the movie area, right right next to the movie theater that I'm gonna go see Godzilla Resurgence at later next week. So yeah. Above all else, I will give this liquor a high recommendation. It is a very tasty beer and I suggest if you have not tried a blue moon yet, try it. It's pretty tasty and you just might enjoy it like me because this is my third sip now <sighs> anyways guys if you have tried the blue moon belgian white let me know what you guys think about it down below did you like it did you not like it and i will see you guys in my next liquor review pieces